Hello fellow awkward humans. I apologize for my face, but I decided two seconds ago to start filming this and I came in here and grabbed my camera because today we begin a journey. And that journey is figuring out what the heck is wrong with my hair. Am I a hair channel now? because I figured we needed some space to talk. So, I have decided to figure out what's wrong with my hair. And what I mean by that is my hair is really thin. And my mom's hair is not super thin. My dad's hair is pretty thick. So I don't understand what happened to me. I don't know if it's stress. I don't know if it's weird hormones. I don't know what happened. But... Today starts a journey of figuring out how to make my hair better. So I've got a few things that I'm going to do for the next 30 days, I told you it was a journey, that hopefully will make my hair thicker, more luscious, more beautiful, a little bit shiny, a little bit healthy. So <laughs> some of those things are, I got Function of Beauty. And because it's customizable, I thought if I can tell them I want my hair to be stronger, if I can tell them what I want, maybe the thing will help. So we're going to try that for the next 30 days. I also am going to try, I think it's B12 vitamins, hair, skin, and nails, supposed to help. Now, I, my nails aren't so bad. They're pretty strong and everything, so the nails aren't the problem. But the hair and, and the skin, I don't know. We're going to see if that helps. Something else that I've read that helps, at least with curly hair, is do not brush it wet. Don't brush it at all. Don't comb it out wet, so I won't be doing that for the next 30 days. Also, um, don't put super heavy heat on your hair. So, I'm not going to do that for the next 30 days. For 30 days, I'm telling you, if this doesn't work in 30 days, I'm going to shave it. I think that's the thing. If this doesn't work in 30 days, I'm cutting it. You think that's fair? I'm not going to shave it. Okay, that was a lie. But, like, I'm going to cut it shorter. Not too short because I like long hair. But, like, we're going we're gonna to do this. Oh, also, speaking of my function of beauty, would you like to see it? This is the box. It is beautiful. It reminds me to love my shelf. So, what I got was a shampoo and a conditioner. I also got the leave-in stuff. So, I'm hoping the soothing of the scalp and strengthen will encourage my hair to grow more. Oh, that was another thing. I also want to massage my head every day for 30 days. It's got the ingredients, which is great. I don't know what any of them mean, and I don't want to take the time to read them. So, it also came with stickers. 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 This is my conditioner. It's beautiful. It's yellow. This is a 16 ounce bottle. I kind of like it a lot. They're kind of springy, summery colors. But I guess they could work for fall too, actually. Um, and this is my shampoo. Function of Jasmine. Oh, my thing's already messed up. Well, that's sad. Uh, but anyway, this is my hair serum. It's a three ounce bottle. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. Like, I like it a lot. I'm going to smell like this all summer! Yeah! For the next 30 days, I will be using Function of Beauty, massaging my scalp every day, taking B12 vitamins, hair, skin, and nail vitamins, not combing my hair when it's wet, and... Not, not washing with super hot water. Let's see how this goes. Hello again. 
It's the next morning and I have washed my hair with my Function of Beauty products. I haven't put the serum in yet, so we need to do that. I am going to massage my head today, probably before I go to bed because I just feel like that would be ideal. I'm going to go get my hair, skin, and nail vitamins probably later today. Um, I did not use hot water on my hair. I've been taking like lukewarm showers. And what was the last one? Oh, don't brush my hair, comb my hair when it's wet. I didn't do that. So, in fact, why don't we just go get the vitamins now and I'll take you with me. glory. Um, I thought I should explain a little bit more about why I'm doing this hair challenge thing. So I'm going to do that while I massage my scalp. If you want this scalp tutorial, um, you can find the link to the girl I got it from below. So we might get a little personal here. I don't like my hair. I know that on the bottom layers it, it looks fine and curly and it's been looking fuller I'm about a week into this journey but um, for the last few years my hair has just been really thinning out and I don't really know why maybe I started messing up my hair a little earlier than I realized just by not taking care of it properly um, I am a biracial woman and I don't really know the products that are best for my hair. I don't know which section of hair products I should be shopping in, to tell you the truth. But anyway, I went through a phase where I only did my hair um, early in the morning, the exact way that Raven Baxter, you know, that's so Raven, did the night before. Not sure that was a great idea. But yeah, I, I don't know if this thin this is because of stress or if it's just genetic. I mean, my mom's hair isn't super thick, but my dad's hair is average. I also lose this much hair every time I uh, run my fingers through my hair like I just did and every time I'm in the shower. So, sorry if that was gross. But like I told you, we might get a little personal here. So, I think my hair started thinning out when I got to college. I was in a new environment, I had never had to make new friends in my adult life just yet, and I was, I was 19, so I wasn't, I wasn't a real adult, um, I still don't feel like a real adult, but it really stressed me out. And then went through the college years, and you know, they're stressful, they just are, various reasons. Um, my first job really stressed me out, I don't know why, but I, I really I think my hair loss is due to anxiety. I think it's due to probably using heat on my hair when I shouldn't have, um, taking too hot of showers. I've had, I think, two hairstylists tell me that my scalp was really irritated and I didn't really know what to do about that. Um, so that's why I'm trying the shampoo, hoping that it will be better for my scalp because if you get literally the root of the problem, then maybe it'll fix it. I don't know. But I'm going to insert some clips here of the issues that I have with my hair. I did a video not too long ago about doing rag curls in my hair and when I turned to the side I was really embarrassed because you can see my scalp. Like you can see the curvature of my head. You know what I would look like if I was bald. His Another reminder, we're going to get a little personal. So, like I said, I, I have a lot of anxiety. Not only does it cause me to be a bit socially awkward with people, um, I didn't realize it until I watched this video from BuzzFeed. Uh, I didn't realize what I was doing, but I'm a picker. I pick. 
and like I pick my cuticles, I bite my nails, I pick this, the lip on my skin, um, I don't pick scabs on my arms and places you can see because that grosses me out. What I do pick though, um, in addition, is my head. Like I pick. If there's a bump up there that I don't understand why it's there or if there is a, a scab, I will pick it. Um, and I, I specifically pick in this top area. So I do that whenever I'm in a new environment, whenever I'm thinking really hard, when I'm stressed out, I, I just, I notice more that I do it. Um, it's something I'm trying to stop, just a kind of a, it's really mind over matter kind of thing. Um, when you're feeling those feelings and you feel your hand come up to your head, you just gotta, you gotta do your best to not continue the process. But I think, I'm not sure if this is normal for people that do that, but um, I'm pretty sure it is what has caused uh, the, the hair on this, this top uh, sort of crown part of my head to stop growing as much. Because it seems like that's where my hair has a bit of a bald spot. And I will insert some pictures here because I want you to see what I mean. When I turn around, <laughs> it's like pretty on the bottom and then the top is just like wasteland. Like why is there such a big gap here? <laughs> there should be more hair. So I don't know. That's the goal here is to get to a healthy hair place. And I don't know if it's ex if I'm doing all the right things that are going to help, but this is kind of a step forward. So I thought I would explain that to you. Otherwise, why are you watching this? Why are you watching this? Can you tell this is after I did my eyebrows? Can you see it? So I'm going to try and wrap up this entire month of trying to figure out how to make my hair a little thicker and a little fuller. My hair journey, if you will. Um, I think it's going well. I've gotten some good comments from my boyfriendo, and um, that's about it, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't necessarily feel like my hair is thicker or fuller, but what I did notice is the spots that I was... <laughs> embarrassed of or the spots that I had trouble with seem to be going away or like well I can't tell where they are anymore um some of those spots were like over here on my hairline I could see that it was coming back that it was creating little bald spots in these sides parts of my head um and I think that hair is filling in now there was a spot um at the top of my head I think I talked about um that was kind of becoming a little bald spot on top of my head. But I took a picture of that this morning, actually, and I was like, oh, where is it? Where'd it go? So that's good. Um, so I'll remind you of the things I've been doing. I've been using Function of Beauty, and the specific formula that I got was supposed to soothe your scalp. Because I thought, you know, it's probably a scalp issue if the hair is not growing the way that it used to. So I've been using that. I've been not washing my hair with super hot water. I know we ladies like 
Hades temperature showers, but it's really not good for your hair or your skin. It dries you out. Um, I have not been combing my hair while it's wet. I have... I had to have... I have... Um, I don't, um, what else have I been doing? Oh, I've been taking my hair vitamins. My hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And my head massages. Yes. All of those things combined maybe worked. Maybe it was just the hair vitamins and not washing my hair with hot water. I don't know, but I'm going to keep doing all of them because it seems to be doing good things. Something else I wanted to touch on is um, I have a lot of anxiety. And because of that, is this recording? Yes. Okay. Oh, let's hope I didn't change that frame too much. I have a lot of anxiety and because of that, um, I just get really easily stressed out about things. Um, I haven't been meditating, I haven't been doing anything great for my anxiety, but I've had some life shifts in the last few months, really, and um, even though coronavirus is happening and even though there is unrest everywhere um, in my life, some of the stressors are not as big as they used to be. And because of that, um, I feel like my anxiety level's gone down a bit. <laughs> I'm just saying she's over new things now, really, but they're not on the same scale. So I feel like that really helped as well because I started losing my hair a while ago or, or at least noticing that I didn't have as much hair where I used to because my mom always used to be like, girl, you got a lot of hair. Girl, you got a lot of hair. Who, girl, you got a lot of hair. And then suddenly my family members were saying, oh, maybe you should try this product that helps you cover up the places where you don't have a lot of hair. Oh, I can see where you don't have a lot of hair. Like I was looking into extensions. I was looking into like hair bands that cover the rest of your head, but what, what am I going to find that matches this curl pattern? And because it's sort of not a curl pattern sometimes, what am I going to find that matches that? I'm not. So you just have to fix it where, where, where it starts. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with how the results are right now. And I am happy to show the results, even though I'm a bit embarrassed about the before rather than the after. Um, uh, I'm hoping I can have this video out to you by Wednesday because it's going to take a little bit of editing to find some clips where I'm genuinely embarrassed of what my hair looks like. Fun. But thank you for watching. Thanks for coming with me on this journey that you didn't even know I was starting. So, <laughs> uh, please like and Please like and subscribe if you like the content that you see on this channel. And if you want to see something specific, just comment and let me know. And I will probably do it in my free time because I need to keep myself busy. Um, that's all I have for you today. So stay beautiful, stay socially awkward, and I will see you next time.